Hi guys, thanks for tuning into this Scan Tool Network video. We have another video demonstrating the iCarsoft BMM version 1.0 here. We're in a mini right now and we have the uh, traction control, the ABS and exclamation warning light showing on the dashboard here. Um, we're going to show you this tool diagnosing and resetting these warning lights. Uh, well, not resetting, sorry, it's diagnosing these warning lights. I'll get to why we can't reset them in a moment. Um, but if you are interested in this tool, I'm going to put the links to this kit in the description below this video. And um, there are fakes, there are clones on the market, so it's really important that you do follow the links in the description. That'll take you to a genuine and official product. So we have this BMM version 1.0 kit tuned, tuned into the uh, diagnostic port, or plugged into the diagnostic port, which is right down there. And uh, we're now going to go ahead and select this vehicle so we can see if we can read these fault codes and find out why these warning lights are on. So we select Mini and we'll just go through the process asking each step. Uh, click on to manual mode so it allows you to choose which system you wish to diagnose. So we're looking for the ABS system and in the BMWs and Minis the ABS is down as DSC, Dynamic Stability Control. So we'll click on to that and then we'll go to read fault code. So it's giving us 48082A, wheel speed sensor voltage supply rear right. Um, so that to us suggests that it's a faulty ABS sensor or it's not recognizing the ABS sensor that is currently installed in there. Now uh, what, you'd, what you could do is you could take that as face value or you could do another double check and you can go to view data and what you do here is go to the uh, sensors there we are the wheel speed sensors so you've got four values here four sensors front right front left rear right rear left and they all have zero at the moment that's because the car is stationary so what you can do is you can drive the vehicle in with this plugged in on this screen here and all of the sensors which are working correctly will show values. If one of the sensors is broken or is, is not working at all, it'll probably show a zero value the whole time. So although I can't drive right now, I can guarantee that if we drove this car, the rear right would stay as zero, but the rest of them would uh, give the correct speed of the vehicle. So that's another way of doing it. You can also, if you don't feel comfortable with actually um, looking at the screen while driving you can just press the record button and it records the data for a certain amount of time and then you can review the data back as well uh, so that is in essence how to get live data and also uh, look at the fault codes relating to the abs on this particular mini so um, we need to put a new abs sensor in there we haven't done it yet obviously that's why we can't reset the warning lights because we need to put a new abs sensor in first but once we've done that we'll be able to use this tool to simply reset the fault codes and get rid of the warning lights as well so that's the bmw or bmm version 1.0 kit and as i say i'll put the links to this kit in the description below this video uh, it's a really really useful kit this is a genuine kit there are fakes there are clones so if you want to make sure you get your hands on a genuine kit that will work exactly as we've seen here then use the link in the description below this video thanks for watching and I hope this helps